Hi, I'm Jillian with Make. This weekend project is a tremolo effect box for guitars and other instruments. But this one's unique. We call it the optical tremolo box because it reads patterns of light to create the patterns of high and low volume that make a tremolo sound. It's easy to build, it sounds great, and it looks really cool. And you can customize the tremolo discs with any pattern you want to make tremolo effects no one's ever heard before. Here's Tyler to walk you through the build. The optical tremolo box was inspired by an idea by Make contributing editor Charles Platt in an article about guitar effects stomp boxes. Charles figured you could create a tremolo effect by using a light sensor that reads patterns on a rotating disc and sketched out an idea of what this hypothetical tremolo wheel might look like. But Make technical editor Sean Reagan took up this challenge and actually designed and built it. Here's how it works. Tremolo is another name for rapid variations in volume. This is accomplished by using resistance to vary how much signal is passed to the output. This is the same way a simple volume control works. In our optical tremolo box, we vary the resistance by using a photoresistor. The more light it sees, the more resistance it generates. So if we flash patterns of light and dark in front of it, they will raise and lower the resistance rapidly, which in turn raises and lowers the volume. And that's tremolo. Let's get started. Check out the project page for a complete list of the parts that you'll need. But the key parts of this build are a photoresistor, a pattern disc, a motor to spin it, and a light to shine on it. And you'll also want these tools. First, drill the enclosure box to make the mounting holes for the components. Just download and print the templates from the weekend projects page, then stick them to your project box. Drill the holes where indicated, then peel off your templates and toss them. The rheostat controls the motor speed. First, bend all three contacts on the rheostat so they're parallel to the shaft. Then turn the rheostat all the way down. We add a 15 ohm resistor in series to bias the range toward the slower motor speeds, which are more useful for tremolo effects. Solder the resistor between the rheostat's center contact and a 3 inch length of wire. Use your multimeter to check the resistance between the center wire and the other two rheostat contacts. One of them should read about 15 ohms and the other about 40 ohms. Solder a 4 inch length of wire to the 40 ohm contact. Cover the resistor in all soldered connections with heat shrink tubing. Insert the rheostat in the enclosure from inside. Fit the indexing tab into the alignment hole, put the washer over the shaft, and tighten the nut. Then put the knob on the shaft and tighten the set screw with a small flat blade driver. The audio potentiometer controls the intensity of the tremolo effect. First, cut the shaft the same length as the rheostat. Then, turn the pot all the way down and file a small flat surface on the side opposite the indexing tab. This will make the knob fit snugly. Again, identify the pot's high contact using your multimeter. Solder a 4 inch piece of wire to both this contact and the center contact. As before, the resistance across the two contacts should go from high to low as the knob is turned up. Mount the potentiometer in the enclosure with its indexing tab in the alignment hole and tighten it with a washer and nut. These cadmium sulfide photoresistors come in packs of five. We'll use one of the medium sized resistors. Remove the rubber insert from the LED holder. Guide the legs of the photoresistor through the holes in the insert until it's seated against the insert. Cut two 4 inch green wires. Strip each end and tin one side. Solder the tinned ends to the photoresistor leads. Then cover all the joints and exposed leads with heat shrink tubing. Push the insert back into the LED holder until the photoresistor is seated in the opening. Now put the LED holder through the enclosure from the front and tighten down the hex nut and split washer from behind. The hub we're using to mount the pattern discs has a 3mm hole, but our motor shaft is only 2mm across. A short section of ink tube from a ballpoint pen makes a perfect adapter. Just push the tube onto the shaft and trim it to fit. Solder a 3 inch wire to each motor contact. Then pass the motor shaft through the hole in the enclosure and secure the motor in place with wood screws. Be careful not to over tighten or you might strip out the metal in the motor casing. Cut six 4 inch wires, three red and three black. 
and strip the ends of each wire. Tin the stripped ends, then wrap each one around one of the six screw terminals on the switch. Tighten down the screw and insulate the connection with heat shrink tubing. One row of contacts should be all red wires and the other row all black. To keep the switch from rotating in its mounting hole, stick two small pads of double stick foam tape to the top. Stick the switch into the mounting hole, slip the label plate over the thread shaft, and then tighten the nut. Attach two leads to the DC power jack and each of the two phono jacks. In each case, ground goes to the outer or case contact. Solder and insulate with heat shrink. Insert the DC power jack through the top panel from outside and tighten it inside with the washer and panel nut. Insert the phono jacks from inside the enclosure, then secure them in place with the washer and panel nut. Radio Shack sells a cool, flexible LED lamp that's perfect for this project. Remove the D-ring and the lapel clip from the micro flex light by using needle nose pliers. Squash the rubber grommet into the hole until the grommet fits neatly into the enclosure. Push the micro flex light into the grommet from above. The grommet will hold the flex light securely in place. You can adjust it up and down, or left and right, or take it completely out, for instance, to replace the batteries. Wire up the circuits using the eight position terminal strip as shown. These European style terminal strips are nice because all you have to do is insert the wire and tighten the screw. Now close up the case using the four screws and stick the adhesive feet on the bottom. To run the motor, three volts DC is supplied through the power jack, which takes a size M plug. You can use a three volt wall wart to run the unit from regular wall power. To make your optical tremolo box more portable, build a simple battery pack for two AA batteries using a battery holder, a size M coaxial plug, and some heat shrink tubing. Attach it to the box with Velcro. Download the sweep disc art from the project page and print it out on a sheet of transparency film or design your own. Cut out each disc and stick a Velcro dot to the center of each. Use the softer loop Velcro dots for these. Apply a scratchy hook dot to the top of the aluminum mounting hub. Slip the hub over the motor shaft, making sure it clears the motor mounting screws. Then tighten the set screw using the Allen wrench that came with the hub. You're all set to rock some awesome tremolo on your favorite instrument. Pick your favorite sweep disc and stick it onto the hub using the Velcro dots. Plug your guitar into one of the phono jacks and your amp into the other. The tremolo circuit is symmetrical, so it doesn't matter which plug goes into which jack. Plug in the power, turn on the LED flex light, then flip the switch in either direction. One will make the disc turn clockwise and the other will make it turn counterclockwise. This might vary the tremolo effect depending on the pattern on your sweep disc. The knob on the right above the switch controls the motor rotation speed. Turn the speed up and then adjust it back down to get lower speeds. The knob on the left controls the intensity of the tremolo effect. Turn it clockwise for more tremolo or counterclockwise for less. The brightness of the light on the photoresistor also affects the tremolo intensity, so try moving the light around. This is just the beginning. You can also experiment with other light sources, especially the sun. You can design your own tremolo discs and come up with sounds never heard before. Check out the project page to share ideas, improvements, and other builds. And as always, have fun.